we were interested in these planktonic organisms because they're sort of the life support system of the planet. So we really need to know more about what they do to sort of support the planet in a general condition. They're the base of the food chain, so everything, the bigger organisms will eat the plankton. So if there's no plankton, there's no fish, basically, in the oceans. They also, through photosynthesis, generate oxygen. In fact, they generate the oxygen in every second breath that we breathe, so incredibly important on a planetary scale. And they take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, take it into the interior of the ocean where it can be stored for, for thousands and millions of years, so they're an essential buffer against climate change due to carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The, the, the real uh, goal of the expedition is sort of to, to see the status of planktonic ecosystems around the world and understand how sensitive they are to climate change so we can sort of get a feel for, for how the oceans will look in 100 years, in 500 years time and so on. So the effects of humanity are, are really having quite a dramatic effect on these planktonic ecosystems which is quite disturbing. Uh, so these effects are felt in terms of increased pollutants, uh, increased oxygen dead zones uh, around the planet and increased levels of plastic fragments of plastic which float in the oceans, uh, which affect the ecosystems and, uh, and poison uh, uh, the ecosystems in quite a dramatic, sad way.